Good evening and welcome to the open house for the North Courtney Parkway State Road 3 resurfacing and safety improvement project that begins at State Road 528 or State Road A1A Martin B. Anderson Beachline Expressway and continues to the Kennedy Space Center property line. Jean Verano is the Florida Department of Transportation's project manager. Matthew Gibbs is the project consultant working with the Florida Department of Transportation. The purpose of tonight's public open house is to share information about the proposed project and to provide time to answer questions with interested persons. If you did not receive a project information flyer previously, please feel free to take one from the sign-in table. Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 prohibits discrimination on the basis of race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status in programs and activities receiving federal financial assistance. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting either the Florida Department of Transportation District 5 office or the Tallahassee office. This contact information is also provided on a sign displayed near the sign-in table. The limits of this project are along North Courtney Parkway or State Road 3 from State Road 528 to the Kennedy Space Center property line in Brevard County. There are two typical sections along this project corridor. The first typical section is from State Road 528 to north of the Grant Road Smith Road signalized intersection. The proposed typical section will provide two 11 foot wide travel lanes in each direction to accommodate four foot wide bicycle lanes. The existing roadway will be restriped from 12 foot travel lanes to 11 foot travel lanes to provide the bicycle lanes. The existing minimum right of way width is 126 feet. The posted speed limit within this typical section is 45 miles per hour. The second typical section extends from north of the Grant Road, Smith Road signalized intersection to the Kennedy Space Center property line. This image represents the existing typical section. No changes are proposed to it. The existing minimum right of way width is 138 feet. The posted speed limit within this typical section is 50 miles per hour. The roadway improvements for this project include milling and resurfacing the entire roadway for the length of the project, widening the pavement for left turn lane extensions, and new left turn lanes at select locations, adding additional asphalt to widen some U-turn locations, replacing non-compliant mailboxes, and upgrading guardrail. A component of this project is to improve safety for bicycles and pedestrians. The improvements include installing sidewalk for connectivity along both sides of State Road 3 between the State Road 528 westbound entrance exit ramp and the Sea Ray Drive intersections and providing handrail near the Barge Canal to shield drop-offs. The improvements also include restriping the travel lanes between the State Road 528 westbound entrance exit ramp to north of the Grant Road Smith Road signalized intersections to provide bike lanes as well as adding a bike lane keyhole at the northbound right turn lane location just north of Grant Road Smith Road. The pedestrian accommodation upgrades that are proposed consist of updating curb ramps to meet Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA requirements, 
and adding pedestrian signals and crosswalks along the north leg of the westbound State Road 528 entrance exit ramp intersection and across all legs of the Grant Road, Smith Road signalized intersection. The signing and pavement marking improvements include the installation of new pavement markings throughout the project limits, evaluating the use of audible and vibratory lane marking treatment from north of the Grant Road, Smith Road signalized intersection to the Kennedy Space Center property line. Additionally, the existing signing along the project corridor will be upgraded to correspond with the proposed improvements. Signalized intersection pedestrian lighting upgrades will be accommodated at the State Road 528 westbound entrance exit ramp, Grant Road, Smith Road, and Hall Road signalized intersections to improve nighttime safety by increasing illumination levels at these intersections. Signalized intersection lighting upgrades will be provided at the Barge Canal U-turn signalized intersection. The proposed Intelligent Transportation System, or ITS, upgrades will enhance traffic flow and incident management capabilities by providing real-time data and video information to the FDOT, the ability to monitor and alert vehicle traffic, emergency management, and connection to a statewide communications network. Drainage improvements will maintain the existing drainage patterns and include extending and or replacing drainage pipes and inlets at various locations to accommodate left turn lane extensions and new left turn lanes, sidewalk and pedestrian curb ramp improvements, and flattened drainage drop-offs at side streets and driveways. The design cost related to this project is $1.2 million. Design is currently ongoing and is expected to be completed in July 2020. All improvements will take place within the existing FDOT right-of-way. The current construction estimate is $11 million. Construction is anticipated to begin in spring 2021. For the latest project information, please visit www.cflroads.com. We encourage you to visit this website, which now contains hot links for easy access to online information and to stay current with the status of the State Road 3 resurfacing, restoration, and rehabilitation project. Finding more information about this project online is as easy as 1, 2, 3. Go to the project website on www.cflroads.com. Enter the project number 441013-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. There are four options if you would like to make a comment or have a question that will become part of the project file. The first is if you are in attendance at the open house, comment sheets are provided. Please place your comment sheets in the box on the comments table. The second option is to take a comment sheet with you and mail it before September 27, 2019. The third option is to email the FDOT project manager, Jean Verano, at gene.verano at dot.state.fl.us. The fourth option is to use the Ask a Question link on the project website at www.cflroads.com under the project manager's contact information. All comments received or postmarked by September 27, 2019 
will become part of the official public record for this meeting. The project team will respond to all comments. This concludes the presentation of the State Road 3 Resurfacing, Restoration, and Rehabilitation Project. Thank you for your interest and we appreciate you for taking the time to attend tonight's public open house. For additional information, please contact the FDOT project manager, Jean Verano, at 386-943-5145 or send an email to gene.verano at dot.state.fl.us. You can also contact the project consultant, Matthew Gibbs, at 407-423-1600, extension 226, or email at mgibbs at cescivil.com. This presentation will begin again in approximately one minute.